If you were able to do Ukrainian traditional dance and some bad people approach you, how can you react to that? <laughs> how I can dance my way out of problems, I like it. So imagine you're this guy and there's three bad guys over there. Very recent video as well. <laughs> I'm intimidated enough by the hat and the boots. <laughs> the whole gang's here. <laughs> You remember the knees dance that you watched? Yeah. That just seems so painful for your knees. That's it seems like it would take so a lot of like core strength and like mm -hmm. leg strength. Time, yeah. It's good to know it has a practical <laughs> use. Now you know no, it no, has no, a that's... practical use. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, time to show you the capital of Ukraine. <laughs> Maybe this will surprise me. You can't surprise Kiev me. I've Ukraine. seen everything. I'm a million years Welcome old. Welcome to beautiful city of Kiev. My name is Julia. That's and where I'm, I'm from. Our guide here. I'm from Kiev. Kiev. The capital of Ukraine is one of the most fascinating and underrated places in all Europe. Today <laughs> we're going to show you the best places to visit. So watch this video till the end. Kreshatik, the main street of Kiev, took its name from the board. How? How even do you say that again? Kreshatik. 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 It comes from Christ, like, because Kreshatik is to like Kreshatik. Kreshatik. Yeah. Okay. It's close to that. Oh, yeah, it has names from the word Christ, yeah. Christ. Here you can find a lot of bars, restaurants, cafes, and world-known brand shops. There is also a huge shopping mall underground where you can find almost everything from very... souvenirs to okay. food and groceries. This is the main square. This is St. Andrew Church, one of the most gorgeous churches in Kiev, located <laughs> in the Podil district. I agree. And buy typical Ukrainian souvenirs from this place. What is a traditional Ukrainian souvenir? The simplest is like magnets or plates. Okay. With the I'm, views. Like, I'm thinking like simplest. when you go to England, your traditional mm -hmm. souvenir would be something that's like Big Ben and yeah, like that, and then like things that have like the royal crest on it so it would be um the cossacks you know those guys there can be like uh, figures of them mm -hmm. then um so yeah, something like this is like traditional ukrainian clothing so okay. it would be like something similar to this very nice. <laughs> i went to canada fairly recently and souvenir that i saw very consistently was uh maple syrup oh okay. uh, is there something mm -hmm. food-esque that you would say is like oh maple you gotta syrup, get a yeah. jar of this or a can of this or a I think horilka is Ukrainian vodka with pepper inside. Okay, oh. we have to mention <laughs> alcohol okay. here. There is no it. because it's unusual. It's like very Ukrainian. Mm. Na pošiti nazu jaki standardni ukrajinski suveniri što standardno kupujete inozemci u Ukrajini. Also like bulava. This is uh, the thing that Cossacks uh, used to fight. So it's like a small version of it. Could be could be t-shirts of soccer players. Uh, oh, okay. You know people you know are fans who of Ukrainian soccer players. They would buy them. Maybe some. I'm like I guess this would be for another video is pictures of Ukrainian villages and like paintings of Ukrainian villages okay. uh, I just wanted to know if there was like a one thing no like yeah a, that's a good point yeah like this is our trademark thing what is Ukrainian trademark what is Ukrainian trademark what do I need to buy when I go to the Ukraine what am I coming back to the US with Cars with Ukrainian symbolic or like oh, hats it's gonna be hard to transport uh, a whole car but I'll do it I got that kind of money Hats or 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 car? Oh. No, I meant oh, like a, a card. I thought you meant like card. a whole car. I'm like no, 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 I no, could no, use a new no, one. no, no. Cards or T-shirts or hats with Ukrainian symbolics. Yeah. Okay, good. Cause like traditional clothing. Cause like my hat that I got in Ireland no longer fits me. It is literally from when I was like. This 10. is from Ireland. Yeah. Oh, cool. 
But yeah, so it's a very nice, I want to say, what is it, sheep? It's probably sheep, if I was to reckon, I guess. New wool. But yeah, could use a new hat, because <laughs> it does okay. not fit me. Okay, so we can see all for deal at Nipro River. After visiting St. Andrew Church, you can continue and go directly to a landscape alley. It's a free entrance park for I like that. kids that a... and adults full of heroes from different fairy tales and cartoons. Okay. I do like seeing the local art. Overlooking the Dnipro Ooh, River is the Pechers Calabra. This monastery complex is known for its iconic golden domes, one of the most notable elements of the Cape skyline. It was built in the 11th century as an important center of Eastern Orthodox Christianity, and it attracts millions of tourists and pilgrims every year. Standing Rums. as our version of Liberty statue is like a woman who defends. <laughs> Proudly at the top of the hill is the statue of the strong lady, the motherland. It was Mother installed in 1981 to honor the heroes of Soviet Union. And she is exactly 17 meters higher than her colleague in oh, New York, like, like the, the Statue flowers. of Liberty. For a small fee, you can get to the very top and enjoy the most breathtaking view. This Soviet-style <laughs> monument is... I guess everyone has an arch. It makes me think of the St. I've been the St. Louis has a very famous arch oh. as well. Mm -hmm. Why are you sick arches are? Because it's like oh, entrance, I right? I guess it's just in it's, Paris, you know. Also, because like and, when you come into Ohio, we have a arch in mm -hmm. the sense that there's a when you drive when you're driving drive through. <laughs> driving through. There's like a. <laughs> you have to I don't know if they're, just, if, if they're just like yeah. this. Like St. Louis has one, but you know Ohio has this like small one that you drive through. All this place is monumental complex. You can see a lot of different things here. And one of the best is the view. Here you can meet beautiful sunset and... I love that she said the best thing is the view and the first thing we see is picture of her it's like, it's yeah i'm also like it's a view like show me the view you know what you're here to see <laughs> our new bridge food here in ukraine are those dumplings yes they're ukrainian dumplings they called vareniki What's in them, typically? It can be meat, can be berries, can be cottage cheese, can be so mushrooms. Do you have like a specialty sauce that you go with it? like uh, Smetana, like something similar to sour cream. Hmm. So they don't have as much liquid inside as Chinese dumplings, okay. you know, the difference. Hmm. You can try almost everything so tasty and cheap, especially in this direct place, Puzata Hada, or Ukrainian <laughs> dishes. So for lunch, I recommend you to start with borscht. It's Ukrainian traditional borscht. Ukrainian soup with meat, and it costs here less than one dollar. And for dessert, my favorite vareniki with cherry. It's so tasty. That's, that's, that's usually what I look for when I travel. Because like when I was in Hong Kong, like it's just everything was like inexpensive. It was just like for one dollar you can have this. Where it was like for. Five dollars. You can eat this. All you can eat and drink, and it's just. But like, was the food like okay for you in terms of like taste, or sometimes you were like surprising? It was fantastic. There was rats. You could see in the food over there, but I, I'm, a, I'm I stand before you alive. <laughs> I'm sure the Ukraine has more sting. <laughs> it's better steam, we dude. We came to one of the must see places in San Sofia Square. Here you can find monument dedicated to Bogdan Khmelnytsky and also San Sofia Cathedral. <laughs> Located not far from St. Sophia Cathedral is St. Michael's Golden Dome Monastery. A lot of churches. It has been destroyed and rebuilt right. several yeah. times over the centuries in times of war. If you want to learn more about its history, I recommend you to go to the museum located in the monastery's bell tower. The largest number of must landmarks of Kiev are located in a city center and can be explored by foot. That's so neat. be sure to book a walking tour with a local guide. Okay. A local guide. <laughs> a local guide, me. <laughs> I've learned so much. <laughs> and I know, I know why I need to practice. Oh, we're clapping. That means that we're, it's coming to an end. <laughs>
Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then press a like. 5,000 likes would be really great. And consider subscribing to my channel, Pitpishitsa. And we'll see you soon. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.